Alright, hello. This is Rome Total War 2. The second Rome. Just because, blah. This is my first actual battle in the game. I just started the campaign, and I thought it went pretty well. Considering what happened, I kind of got... I was on my way to attack... At, uh, I don't remember the city. But it was the Tylese. Or Tylis, whatever. And they kind of attacked me first before I got to their town. And they had at 1,320 against my 570. So we'll just go ahead and show you. My strategy here is to put my cavalry up here in the hope that they wouldn't spawn up here to cross this area. Which actually worked because they decided to spawn all right here. There are a thousand troops versus my little... 500. My strategy here was to figure out the heaviest of these, which was the very heavy infantry, and try to hold them here. Our enemies hope for an easy victory. But why not? What I wasn't paying attention was this was actually my general, so I swapped places with the heavy pikemen with the very heavy pikemen. And had to move them all the way back to get them out of the way of the archers. This is where they started to cross the bridge. At this moment in time, I sent my cavalry across the river to take care of the archers or spearmen. What are they throwing? Rocks. Yeah. Slingers, or as it's called. What do, what do they shoot? Uh, well, anyways, it's not really important. My cavalry slams into them and scares the crap out of them because they run away. But I'm not done with them yet because they decide to come back. This is the point where they come back here. So I have to send my cavalry back to run them off. <clears throat> what I didn't cover is the cavalry charging the bridge and scaring off some of the infantry, which would be medium spearmen it looks like, and infantry. Then there is one, two, three, four. I just had all my troops charge them at this moment because my heavy pikemen, we were taking severe losses at the time being. I do believe the only reason I won this battle is because my cavalry did all the heavy lifting back here on this side of the bridge. But sadly, they did die. Spoilers. See more the more people decided to come back and try to attack my cavalry at that moment. My heavy pikemen decided to. Re Wait, I. No, that's one. Okay. I told them to retreat there. I did not tell my javelin to retreat. They retreated by themselves, leaving the, my general just to be defending by himself. My javelin 
and my pikemen, neither one actually fully retreat. They just fall back some, so they're used later. This is the point where I wasn't paying attention, and my cavalry was just attacking their general, and they sent another group of people, quite a large group of people, onto the bridge. I believe I noticed here in a second that they're attacking me for the rear, so I tried to get my cavalry off the bridge again, and it doesn't work out for me. I suffer severely for this. As you can see, we're at 36 now, and then we'll drop right back here. I lose, yeah, there we go. Start declining in. Where my javelin men decide to come back. Now we have 16 cavalry left. The second time my pikemen are, have retreated. There's a minute left of this battle, so we'll just keep playing it real time. There goes a horse. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to cinematic mode for a second. There's the remaining two horsemen I have. I tried to tell them just to get out of there, but I don't know if they made it. I believe they did. There's a reinforcement force for their general. And somewhere between here, I believe it's real soon that I kill their general. And they just give up. So. I believe it's right here. This is the point I killed their general. Yeah, as you can see, they start all retreating. And here's the final stats. Really impressed by this. Actually thought I had no help to win this. So hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.